It's your boy riding with Brad, and guess what we on? <laughs> yes, the S1000. You heard it loud and clear, guys. Raising that vibration. That's what I'm doing. And now, this bike has been neglected beyond the T. <laughs> I mean, neglected. I have not rode this bike. I can't even tell you how long. It's been, it's been months. Like, I mean months, literally months. And uh, I would say what, maybe roughly around like four months, four or five, actually more than that, like six months. This bike needs to get an inspection. Um, it's leaking oil. <laughs> I mean, this thing is literally in, not in the great shape ever at all, man. And it's technically my fault because I haven't really been uh, very attentive to this bike. So I'm hoping that the oil that's there now could kind of like stay put until until um, I get to the dealership and I'm headed to uh, Motor Raid of BMW of Manhattan. That's where I'm going. And that's where I'm headed to right now. Let's just hope that traffic is okay. But today's topic, I wanna talk about perseverance, man. You know, whatever you're doing in life, persevere. I don't care what task that's being presented conquer it and persevere and I'm literally going to be preach like literally practicing my own words because I've been slacking on posting vlogs and things in that sort only because of you know things with life and uh but that's no excuse you know because I'm gonna tell you right now I work a nine to five and Though I'm very grateful, you know, to have a nine to five, I am not happy with the nine to five at all. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I am not pleased. Um, the environment's very toxic. And you could tell like once when I get there, you know, the energy is just like so weird. Everybody's kind of like robots. It's, you know, it's, I'm working for a corporation. So it's like, it's just, it's, it's just weird. You sit in your cubicle and just the vibe is just like so awkward man you know you got people there that's literally there just to hate on you for no reason you know just because you're minding your business and you're not saying too much to them because you kind of understand that they're kind of problematic and all they do is just draw a lot of negative energy and try to disperse that energy and uh i just try to like stay away you know so um it's just a little bit annoying and um so Overall, what could I do, right? I could sit here and complain to you guys, ah, or do something about it, right? If I want to put it out there, put the attention out there to the universe, law of attraction, hey, I want to be able to be basically financially free in a sense of like, you know, I don't want to wake up and have to be obligated to work a nine to five, not a nine to five that I don't like, you know, so now I'm back at it and I'm like you know what I'm gonna do the best that I possibly can you know to uh, fulfill my dreams on being a youtuber believe it or not um, that's what I want to do and uh, so I'm gonna persevere <laughs> I will persevere and, and try to conquer whatever I'm dealing with in the sense of this job because it drains a lot of my energy by the time I get home I really don't have no energy whatsoever and the reason why I haven't been vlogging on the bike is because the weather hasn't really been compliant enough for me to do it. Today right now it's like 47 degrees, you know, like it's cold, I'm not going to lie to you, but it's supposed to be hitting close to like 60 and it was raining all day yesterday as you can tell looking at the ground surface.
Oh, so now there's a new protocol now? No, they don't let us in. You just gotta, you gotta leave it outside and then... Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh-oh. All right. Is it guaranteed that you'll get the bike back today or? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Um, is Rodney there? Rodney? Yeah, I'm coming out here. Okay, thanks. I gotta see his car. All right.